Guys, about a week ago, a friend of mine, fellow pole vaulter, Kelsey Abi, created this challenge called I Am Enough, or hashtag enough, hashtag I Am Enough, whatever one you like to use. Both work. With the idea of creating self-confidence within yourself, that you are enough. By comparing yourself to other people, it creates this wall. It makes you feel worthless. It just creates all this negative talk, negative thoughts, negative emotions. And then a couple of my other pole vault friends picked it up and ran with it. And I reached out and was like, I would love to help shoot this out of a cannon if I can. You guys, you are combining pole vault and mental health. This is exactly what my, so I reached out to see if I could make him a video and I made him this. This whole thing was really sparked by a comment that I made coming home from practice. My hair was a mess. I had no makeup on. I was looking in the, the little visor mirror and I saw some pimples on my face and I was like, oh, I'm so ugly. And she flipped out on me. <laughs> she said, oh my gosh, don't talk about my friend like that. Body image is something that I have really struggled with. I've never been in love with the size of my legs and the size of my butt. I've always wished I had a smaller butt, smaller legs. I'm constantly comparing myself to uh, the girls that I'm competing against. I was to the point where I cared more about how I looked while I competed um, as opposed to the results. And then that kind of floods over into like every aspect of my life. So I think, oh my gosh, I'm 27, I have a master's degree and I make no money and I'm not good enough in this way and I'm single so I'm obviously not good enough in that way. All of us at some point in time have struggled or been challenged by these issues. As my husband says, they're my money makers and they're what allow me to do what I do, get down that pole vault runway so fast and so well. You know, I saw these women with these, what I thought to be these perfect bodies and you know, these abs and I, that was something that I never really naturally had. We shouldn't be questioning our worth based off of what the world tells us that we should or shouldn't be, or what we should or shouldn't look like, or what we should have or should be doing. You know, something that was really eye-opening to me was talking to these women that I thought had these perfect bodies and they had body image issues. Put out there for others to hear and others to see what you struggle with. Everyone struggles with something. You know, coming out and saying that we we feel that way and it's normal. Not only is it saying that I am enough, but it's kind of saying enough with talking badly about yourself or thinking you're not good enough. There's beauty in being unique and different. And we should treat ourselves the way we treat our closest friends and the people we love um, because we deserve that. Now, if we are being 100% honest, I thought this was very much about body image and how you feel about yourself physically. And I had them tell me why they did this challenge. First off, they all kind of, they hurt my heart. Cause I'm like, you guys are awesome. You guys are phenomenal the way you are. I don't see any of these flaws. You guys are beautiful human beings. So that was hard for me to watch. And, but when I ran across Melissa's, she said she has a master's degree and she makes no money and she doesn't know what she's doing with her life. I could relate to that. So I made this to try and help other people and to shoot this message out of a cannon if I can. And any, this is this is what I have. I'm, I think I'm pretty okay at making videos. <laughs> so this was my way to kind of give back and to spread this message around. And in the process, the message took a hold hard as I saw that. And it wasn't just about how I felt about my body. It was about how I felt about myself, period. So if you guys want to be a part of this, it would be awesome if you shared the other video. You can share this one if you want, but this one's more me talking about my process. The other one's the meat and potatoes. But that would be wonderful. And if we can get this thing going, because I believe wholeheartedly in this. So with that being said, Life is meant to be experienced and curiosity will get you there. I'll put links to all of their Instagrams down in the description below. And please share the video. I'll put a link to the video at the end of this one as well. Bye. And a little trick that I like to use when I hear my friends saying negative things about themselves is I like to look at them and say, don't say that about my friend. 
because it really reframes the situation because I think we're quick to say negative things about ourselves, but we would never say that about our closest friends and the people we love. And we should treat ourselves the way we treat our closest friends and the people we love.